Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. And today, I get this question a lot, so I will be showing what I use for fake blood. Now, on Animal Cove, um, we got a lot of subscribers now. Thank you guys. But uh, if you are one of my oldest subscribers, you, know, you would know that I posted a video seven months ago. Um, and... It was testing, it's called testing toys with, right here, testing my toys with fake blood. Now, if you want to uh, go see that video, you can. Um, so I have posted a video that has shown um, uh, how I do it and stuff. Um, but this one is for my newer subscribers, the uh, ones that wouldn't know. But yes, yeah, so all you need is a uh, so, uh, water, um, a rag, and obviously the toys that you are using. Now, <clears throat> yesterday I posted a video. It was the Shooting Stars pack, and I left fake blood on him uh, to show you guys that it's easy to take off if it dries. Now, the most important thing you're going to need is the fake blood. <laughs> so... Unfortunately, you can only get this around Halloween time, so for the meantime, just use some ketchup or something, okay? <laughs> um, when Halloween comes around again, I'm going to buy 12 more of these. Uh, I can make these last a long time because I only use it for YouTube videos. I would recommend only using it for YouTube videos if you don't make YouTube videos of these guys. Um, don't use a whole lot. Um, just make sure that... Uh, you save it uh, for the rest of the year. I still have a bunch more of these, but it's like a dollar at the dollar store or the Dollar Tree or the 98 cent store, whatever yours is called, wherever you live. Um, it's called Vampire Blood. Uh, it says on the back it comes off with water. Um, but yeah, you're supposed to put it like on your clothes for Halloween. Um, or like your lips, like it shows right here or something, uh, but yeah, um, I use it for these toys. Now, you might, you may be wondering why I got four, uh, one was this horse that has a mane, so I will be putting it on the mane and, um, the body to show it will come off of easy stuff. I got this guy because it, he has a lot of fur detail so you might be scared that it will get stuck in there and you won't ever be able to get it back out um and he's got some that's still on there that i didn't wash off um you got this boar that is these are all schleich except for is this chicken no this one's safari ltd yeah um so i got this one uh because it has less grooves and stuff in it and it has a little bit right here and then this one uh doesn't have a lot so look uh we'll start with the horse <clears throat> uh it's fairly large um just unscrew it uh put your cap away make sure it's not in the shot and you don't want you want to be careful because it comes out really fast then if you want to make scars just put don't put a whole lot on like that just put like what i know what i used to do was get a stick i used to put it in here so i wouldn't get a whole lot out <clears throat> but that's for like clean cuts like that um you can let it drip down and then you can make your video or something but yeah uh if you want to make scars use a stick or something in here, the toothpick or whatever you want to use. Dip it in and just go lightly on the toy like that a couple times. Let it dry and it'll look like your perfect scar. Um, I did do that for Mason the Coyote uh, in the Shooting Stars pack. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> it will drip down very well. Uh, it'll be cool to use for fight scenes or them killing their prey or something like that just it comes out pretty fast so just make sure you don't use it too much uh now i only use it for youtube videos because i want to save it but yeah uh i'm going to put it on the horse put it there um this wolf 
just going to go like that or something like that. I don't know. I'm just putting it on randomly in different spots. Uh, I'm gonna dip his horn in here like he stabbed something on his head, on right there. I'm just using a lot to show you guys it's safe. Uh, just try not to eat it or anything. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, and this. There, I just put it on the wood. It should be totally safe and fine. I did put it on a carpet. It does not come out of carpet. Just saying. Uh, I did scrub it with soap and water, but it probably is meant to be like put in the washing machine. So, yeah, don't you don't want to do that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, then you can just have your water over here, have the rag, uh, just like, go like this, it smears, it's on the rag right here, but then you can just like, dip it in like you're cleaning something and just rub along, and it comes out fast, uh, so yeah. Um, if you want, if you customized your toy, you don't want to soak them in the water, uh, but you can take a rag and go lightly on it like this. See how easy that comes off. Um, and I would, I know, if I'm at my house, you know, your sink has a sprayer thing, you can do that and it'll get it out a little bit better than the rag. Um, or you could use a hose or something, but yeah, if you see a little bit left, if you, uh, I'm at my grandma's house right now, hers doesn't work, otherwise I would have showed you guys, but if you see that it doesn't come out very well, uh, that's fine, just like, uh, get a hose or something and run it along, um, I'll do that to show you guys, it dries, it's fine, uh, there's still a little bit of thick blood on the main, you can just wipe it up, Wipe it up like nothing. Him just dip it in some water, take it, rub along like this, um, and then just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing until it comes off. Uh, it will come off, it will not stain. Here's the dry part. I'm going to show you the dry part. Uh, dip it in more water. See, that comes off real easy, so you don't have to worry. Uh, with him, it's going to be a little bit harder because he's got, like, fur grooves and stuff. He's got, like, the detail in him, and it might get, like, stuck in there a little bit, but then you can just use the hose or something or use a wipey and just, like, keep going like that until it comes off. Um... But yeah, it's really easy. I see a little ruby in the window. Hi, ruby. <laughs> little ruby in the window. Okay, so... Yeah. It's pretty easy. It's uh, really fun to use. It makes your videos look more realistic. Uh, I don't know uh, if you guys make your own homemade fake blood or if you just use ketchup or there and then so there's still a little bit on them so I'm gonna dump them in here shake them around still a little bit in there but don't fear it'll come out eventually uh it'll come out I just don't want to spend the whole time rubbing like this video and just rubbing in it oh I landed the chicken and see how easy this comes off this chicken I don't even need the rag. It just comes right off. See? Comes right off the chicken. You can actually rub it a little bit too. Just when you uh, have a custom uh, toy, uh, don't be so rough. Be more gentle. Uh, but, yeah. Um, really simple and easy to do. Uh, uh, it will come off wood and stuff really easy. 
uh, yeah, um, yeah, just try not to get it on carpet or anything, otherwise it's great to use for your videos, makes it way more realistic, just try not to use a lot, you can only get around Halloween, just use ketchup or something until then, uh, but yeah, but if Halloween comes and you can buy it, go to a dollar store or something, they'll have it, um, if you get it at Walmart, it's probably going to be like 2 or two fifty or something like that, this dollar, dollar store, easy, fun, um, and I'm going to show you what, like, the horse, because there's still a little bit in the main. So this was the thing I was talking about, uh, it doesn't work, see, uh, that's what I use at my house, if you wanted to use that, but this is my grandma's house, so, uh, this doesn't work, so I just come here and use the hose, and... Oh, horsey! I wasn't supposed to go that far. That actually worked. <laughs> like, it, it went to the horse flung it, like, got it all off. So, yeah. See? Brand new. You don't have to worry about it staining or anything like that. Really easy to use. Um, so, yeah. I hope this video was helpful for people that keep asking uh what i use um so yeah that's how i do it uh got this cool spider plant it's big um so yeah hope it was helpful easy to use easy to clean and yeah i will see everyone in the next video so i hope you everyone had an awesome day